Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this video as we learn how to do rotations on the coordinate plane. Today we're going to focus on the three scales that you see here on your screen. We're rotating 180 and 270, all about the origin. This is all counterclockwise. When we rotate, we rotate counterclockwise. So think about how the hands would move on a clock. Those would actually move to the right. When we rotate, we actually rotate to the left. So you're going to see all of our rotations are going towards our left. Okay, I'm thinking about your screen. Okay, to your left. Um, and that's how we're going to do all of our rotations. I can then discuss with you what it would mean to do clockwise. Okay, think about the way the hands normally go on a clock. That is actually only done if it says clockwise. Otherwise, it's always just counterclockwise to the left. All right, so we're going to take a close look at this. We're going to look at these three um, examples on the front here of my lesson, and then we're going to go into the next slide where we're going to do some practice. And feel free, obviously, to pause or play and try the problems along with me. Okay, ready? So a rotation 90 degrees about the origin. Here is what we need to make sure we know if we're doing a rotation about the origin. We need to know that x, y, that coordinate, actually becomes negative y, X. As we put that into our memory, the easier it is going to be to do these rotations of 90 degrees. So here's what I mean about negative y, x. If I have this first point of a, 3, 2, and I go ahead and I do negative y, x, that would give me negative 2, positive 3 as my answer. I negate the y value as my x value, and I use the x coordinate actually as my y value. If I was now to plot that point, you can see on the screen I'm plotting it, a prime, that A prime is now an, at a 90 degree rotation from point A. So look at point A on the right. It's rotating to the left. Okay, it's going to the left. And when it goes to the left on that rotation, you can see the new point again is at negative 2, 3. Their point, the points are equidistant from the origin. Again, same distance from the origin. That's what that means, rotating to the left. So let's try B now. B is at negative 4, 1. If I follow this format of negative y, x, I get negative 1, negative 4. Here's my point of negative 4, 1, my B prime at negative 1, negative 4. And again, if I show you that it's at a 90 degree angle rotated towards the left, so counterclockwise, that's all I have to do to get my rotations. Rotation of 180 degrees about the origin. A rotation of 180 is actually negative x, negative y. If you've learned about reflection so far, rotation of 180 degrees is exactly the same as reflecting over the origin. The same idea, negative x, negative y. So if a is at 3, 2, then a prime is at negative 3, negative 2. Notice that a 90 degree rotation of point a for a prime went from first quadrant to second quadrant. B went from the second quadrant to the third quadrant. If I rotate 180 degrees, that's 290 degrees together. It would send this to the second quadrant and then to the third quadrant. It's two 90 degree rotations, but it really just makes 180 all together. B and then B prime. So you can see B is at negative four one, B prime is at four negative one, it started in the second quadrant and it made its way over to the fourth. So it did a rotation of 90 and then another rotation of 90 again. Rotation of 270 would be three rotations of 90s around, or a 90 and then a 180, or a 180 and then a 90, however you want to think about it. Rotation of 270 is y negative x. Okay, so notice the difference. Rotation of 90 is negative yx. 270 is positive y negative x. So still the x and y are flipped. 90, the y is negative, and in 270, the x is negative for the y, new y value. If I have point A at 3, 2, my A prime ends up being here in the fourth quadrant now. So 90 degrees would have sent it to the second, 180 would have sent it to the third, and now we're seeing a 270 puts it into the fourth quadrant. And that's the rotation of 270. Again, it's counterclockwise, it's going to the left. B is at negative 4, 1. A rotation of 270 would put it three quadrants away into the first quadrant following that form. Pretty cool. Now we're going to take a look at some problems and feel free obviously to pause the screen at any time to try some of these out. 
we're going to look at just some practice together. So here I have this image A, B, C. I already have my points listed, and same thing with this new image, D, E, e um, D, E, F, G. 90 degree rotation is negative Y, X. That would be my A prime. Negative Y, X. Here's B prime, negative Y, X. C prime, negative Y, X. If I was to plot those points, notice where my new figure is. It's in the next quadrant to the left. It started in quadrant one, 90 degrees, put it in quadrant two. Now if I have this trapezoid here, which is mostly in quadrant two, we're going to see what happens. Negative y, x, negative y, x, negative y, x, negative y, x. And this figure that's mostly in quadrant two, after 90 degree rotation, ends up now mostly being in quadrant three. 180 degree, I'm just going to make myself a little smaller here. 180 degrees would be two 90s or a reflection over the um, origin. You can think of it either way. It's negative x, negative y. These are pretty easy to do. Negative x, negative y. Negative x, negative y. Negative x, negative y. Okay, I'll just adjust this. Look, if my original figure is in the first quadrant, it went 90 degrees into the second quadrant, and now another 90 degrees would send it into the third quadrant, or it's just simply a reflection over the origin. Last one here of 180. It's mostly in the second quadrant, so could you guess what quadrant it's mostly going to be in next? If you said the fourth, this one here diagonal from it, you're right. So ready, our points are negative x, negative y, negative x, negative y, negative x, negative y, negative x, negative y. And look, my rotation. So you can imagine that that figure is just getting completely rotated around. Um, this triangle is here. This trapezoid gets basically flipped upside down and turned, and that's where those new points would be. And again, it's also a reflection over the origin. 270. 270 is x negative y. I'm sorry, y negative x, my apologies. y negative x. So y negative x, y negative x, y negative x. And notice 90 degrees brought this first quadrant to the second. 180 brought the first quadrant to the third. And now 270 brings the first quadrant into the, th the fourth quadrant. Last one. Okay, we have y negative x, y negative x, y negative x, y negative x. And it would bring this figure. This would be in 90 degrees, 180, and now 270. I hope you're able to rewatch this video if you need any extra additional help. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I hope it was helpful for you.